welcome to Watch Symposium. I'm Austin. Let's talk accuracy of this A-Serial GMT Master II from early 1999. Now, as you know, I got it out of the bank safe. If you haven't seen that video, link in the description, but that's where I was keeping it. It had been in there for months. And there was a comment in that video. Here it is. And it was a bit unnerving, I gotta say, because I never thought about whether at the bank safe they use magnets. And, and when it comes to mechanical watches, magnets, well, they scare us mechanical watch guys, all right? And so my response was this, we'll see. Now, I'll tell you right off the bat, no problem, all right? So I don't know if magnets are used, but regardless, it didn't seem to affect the accuracy of this watch at all, all right? But I thought what we would do is take a look at the accuracy because I set this on the 8th and link in the description to that video. And here's some footage from that. You can see that it's plus or minus zero, right? Because I just set it. And let's see how it is days later. Again, set it on the 8th. Today is the 22nd. So let's see how it's doing. I've got my um, atomic clock of sorts here. and it looks to be about four seconds fast. All right, so 22 minus eight, that's how many days it's been, and it's four seconds fast. Now, I understand that you guys might think, well, this could be all smoke and mirrors, some TPG shenanigans going on here. Well, I can just say that I promise you guys I didn't mess with the crown at all. I didn't hack the crown at all. You'll just have to trust me on that. But it's a little bit more interesting, um, the, the nuances uh, of what's happened in these last two weeks, okay? So set it on the 8th, it was pretty much dead on. And then I checked it on the 13th and, no, actually I was checking it every day, I'll be honest, I was checking it every day and it was dead on, absolutely dead on. And I looked, at it on the 14th and I thought, hmm, I wonder what would happen if I set it down because from the 8th to the 13th, I was wearing it all the time, even to sleep. And so on the 13th, I set it just like this, face up. And the next day I looked and it was about two seconds fast. Hmm, all right. And the reason I did it face up is because of this. You know, I thought it would just speed it up a bit. I mean, it was dead on, but I just wanted to see if it was speeded up a bit. And sure enough, it did, two seconds. But again, two seconds is two seconds too fast. And so by the same instruction, which by the way, I don't think really applies to modern watches, these modern Rolex watches, but still I gave it a shot. And, and the next day on the 14th, I went to sleep. In fact, the second I got home, I, I took it off and, I, and I, I left it just like this until the next day. So it was running a long time and I checked it and it was plus five. All right, hmm, that was kind of weird. And so after that, I thought, all right, I'll just wear it. And so I started wearing it and from the 14th to today, the 22nd, it's been on my wrist and it seems to have lost about a second. So. On rest, this seems to be, uh, I guess, uh, about minus a tenth of a second, but then off rest, it seems to be about plus two. And so the question is, why is it just a tad fast off rest and ever so slightly slow on rest? Well, I can't say for sure. I'm not a watchmaker or a physicist. If you are, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section, give us your two cents. But I've got a few theories and one is that when you lay it down and you don't wear it, possibly it starts to depower. And when that happens, possibly the balance wheel doesn't make such a wide swing back and forth. And so a smaller swing would mean a faster rate. So that could speed it up. So that's one theory. And another is that when I wear it, 
as I'm moving about that could interrupt the way the balance wheel works. Okay, so um, it's running just uh, you know perfectly at, at an even rate, but, but if I turn it this way and that way, it's gonna sort of interrupt that and that slows it up, which would account for it being a little bit slower on wrist. Anyway, kind of interesting and uh, a pretty super accurate watch. And I think I had stated in other videos that it's about plus 0.5 seconds a day. Well, it's even better now. So there you go. And, uh, and it's, I guess, to the point where it's pretty much perfectly accurate because if I keep wearing it, eventually that's going to get to plus minus zero. And then I can just wait a few more days to where it's minus one second a day. And then all I got to do is just leave it like that one night and we're back to plus two. So uh, if I have any complaints, and let me tell you, I don't, it would be that I feel obligated to wear the watch because if I, if I put it down at night, then I know it's going to speed up. So I've been sleeping in this watch and, uh, you know, spending some serious quality time with it. And I don't mind that, but I, I kind of prefer sleeping with this watch. I, I, I like using the light at night and it's got the, the alarm. I, I could always double wrist it, but uh, hey, if that's my biggest complaint that I have to wear this watch, well, not much to complain about, I suppose. Anyway, let me know what you think about the A-Serial GMT Master 2. Are you thoroughly impressed by the accuracy of this watch? And uh, does this prove that a pre-ceramic GMT can handle uh, timekeeping perhaps just as well as their ceramic counterparts? Let me know what you think. Take care. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.